Hello, hello, it's Monica and welcome back to my channel. It is Monday, so it is time for personalized card. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create floral 3D envelope with no cutting dice. I'm going to use one of the best collections ever from relatively thoughtful called Independent Women. It is a match launch and it is gorgeous. It's simply one of the best collections ever because it has beautiful purples and gorgeous greens. So when I saw this collection, I thought I really need to give it a go and use all those beautiful design papers and elements to fussy cut. In this collection, you also have some beautiful images to fussy cut, but also photographs of independent women. And tell me in the comments how many of those you know. What's really good about this collection, it also has three A4 sheets with florals, and these are simply magnificent. When I saw them, I thought I really need to give it a go and experiment with those beautiful flowers to create a project. So that was the idea behind today's video. I'm going to use Envelope Box Creator from Crafters Companion. As you can see, I use my black marker and I put it on all the letters here. So this is the way to go if you don't have cutting dice to create a dimensional envelope. And I'm going to create my envelope with half an inch depth. I decided to have it at five and a uh, half inch by three and a half inch size. So I'm going to use eight inches square and I'm going to score it at D and H on that scoring board here. So I'm going to place my square here and I'm going to score it at D, then move it to the second place and do it again. Then I'm going to do it on the opposite corner. Super quick and easy. And this way you're going to have dimensional envelope. So that's what we want. Now I need to score it at H, then move it to number two and score it at H again, and then exactly the same on the opposite way. So this way we have amazing envelope you can use for a variety of projects. However, today I'm going to use it as a card. It is time to fold and burnish all those score lines. You can use your finger or scoring tool. The choice is absolutely yours. And when this is ready, we have to cut some notches and this is super easy. And I'm going to use my pencil to show you how to cut it really quickly and effectively so you can create that envelope box really quickly. Have you ever created a dimensional envelope for your projects? Please let me know how did you do it in the comments down below. As you can see, this comes together really quickly. However, if you create that envelope, you don't really have any nesting dice to go with, but I'm going to show you a trick how to use your design paper and a pencil to actually create very beautiful designs for your project. So that's how it's going to look like. Now it is time to decorate it. And it's always my biggest challenge for every single project where you have to choose which design papers I'm going to use. For the top panel, we have to actually cut those notches off. And at this point, I didn't realize, but then when I opened the envelope, I thought, yes, we need to cut them off so we won't see them because we don't really need them here, right? But if you create a dimensional envelope and you want to put something inside, yes, you can use those notches later on. So now it is time to choose some beautiful design papers. And as usual, I really like the color combo on every single collection. But as I told you, my favorite here is the purple. So that's how I'm going to start my project. With all those design papers, there is lots of texture to it. So I thought, let's give it a go. It is so simple, beautiful, and very effective when you put those elements together. So I decided to use the bottom of that sheet and this time to turn it over and then use a pencil. So I'm going to leave a small gap at the bottom and I'm going to corner that uh, punch here super quick and easy. As you can see, it really makes a difference. So I'm going to use it again for most of the elements here. Using my scissors, I'm going to fussy cut it. And if you want, you can also use your pencil to draw that line with a very small gap, but you don't have to. 
all you have to do is to remember just to leave it a small gap and it will be fine. So when this element is ready, I'm going to adjust it slightly and then move on to the sides of the envelope. If you want, you can always use that punch to make sure that the corner is curvy. Yes, and I do encourage you to do so. With the leftover cut here, I'm going to use my pencil again and I'm going to draw the sides. As you can see, I'm going to leave a mark when it finishes, so I'm going to use my ruler just to make sure I'm going to have a straight line. Super quick and easy. And this way you can actually decorate any panels. You can use that technique for rectangles or squares as well. So when these elements will be ready, it's always a good idea to actually check if they work on your project. Have you ever created a floral project? If you have, please let me know what collection did you use. And of course, I've got some leftover for my future projects. But stay tuned, I'm going to use a leftover of this design paper later on. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So now I'm going to round those corners because I really want this card or let's say project to look professionally finished and now I decided to use that light green in the camera it looks pretty yellow but in real life it is gorgeous green so again using my pencil I'm drawing the lines and this time I'm actually going to draw that gap so I know exactly where to cut all those elements and as you can see it's going to be a pretty big element and if you haven't heard about relatively thoughtful in the description down below i left the links to youtube channel instagram craft world and literally everywhere you can find any design papers from that company and if you're interested you can also join our rt create make and share facebook group where all the amazing crafters share they makes with the design papers so i do encourage you to check it out as you can see this card or project comes together really quickly all you have to do is literally to decide how to choose your elements to decorate it and with this collection when i saw it for the first time i got so excited because green and purple this is the best color combo right if you agree please let me know in the comments down below i also wonder how often do you create personalized floral projects if you do how often do you do it i'm really really curious so please let me know in the comments down below as you can see now it is time to put our 3d envelope together and it's always a good idea to use a liquid glue because you do have time to maneuver all those elements and for the back we are going to create a small card so i created three and a half by five and a quarter card and we can decorate it with the leftover purple card super beautiful and later on well i'm going to have some of the leftover flowers from the design i'm going to decorate that card here as well so it means if you have that small card attached to the envelope on the back you will have some space to write your message and it will be hidden but it's also going to help your beautiful 3d envelope to stand proudly on a flat surface i fussy cut all those elements from the collection and i love them as you can see there are just so so many of them and i'm going to use a piece of heavyweight acetate and red liner tape to attach all those beautiful floral elements and i do encourage you to do so because this way your elements will float it will be amazing so if you have never ever created a 3d floral envelope maybe today is the day and if you feel inspired please let me know in the comments down below as you can see i'm putting a small piece of red liner tape i'm going to use my pokey tool to actually um, make sure that this burnished first and then peel it off and attach to my envelope inside so no one will ever see and this is a trick so it will be beautiful with all those floating elements how often do you use acetate in your project do you have your favorite style for using it or do you just use it for shaker cards please let me know 
in the comments down below. So when this is ready, it is time to choose all those beautiful florals. And I really wanted something, let's say, a little bit symmetrical, but in the end, it didn't really work out. So I chose whatever I want at that time. And if you want to attach any leaves, you can always do it with a liquid glue, because it will be attached to the paper on the back. So yes, you can use that trick as well. So this card came together really quickly, I think all together. It took me about 15 minutes and if you want you can also use your scan and cut or Cricut machine to cut all those elements out and it will be perfectly fine. And it is time to peel off the backing of the red liner tape and if you have a pokey tool that will make your job so much easier and quicker. What I really like about this collection, it has so many beautiful florals you can work with. So if you haven't seen that beautiful collection, you can check the links in the description down below because I yes, I did leave all the links to all the products I use. And this collection, I'm going to say it, it is my favorite from Relatively Thoughtful. So, I will definitely create more projects with this collection, so stay tuned for all those videos. And if you haven't seen my videos with Happy Birthday Collection, designed by Paola Machado, one of the videos is at the top right corner. And also, at the very end of the video, I'm going to have some other projects I would really like you to try, especially with Art Deco style and Fancy Fold, so please check those videos at the end of this one. So uh, it's always a good idea to check if you like the composition of all the florals you've got and you can always add some more dimension. And in this case, I'm going to add another strip of acetate and put more florals. I couldn't resist. This is so beautiful to create. It is not that time consuming as you probably think, but in real life, it really adds that dimension and interest to the card. And as I told you in this video, I love this color palette, but I, th I also wonder what do you think about those purples, greens and yellows together? Do you like it? Because for me, it screams springtime and that's what we want right now, right? It is spring and yes, those colors work so well together. It's always a good idea to add even more leaves and embellishments because that what makes your cuts even more unique, special and more luxurious. So if you have any floral elements, please add loads because that's what makes our cuts even more special. Now it will be time to add the sentiment and I decided to use that floral element to actually separate the name of the recipient and on your birthday. And I'm going to use Tattered Lace Elegant Alphabet for the name of the recipient and I use Gold Mirror Card and I'm going to start putting all those letters from the middle first to the right and then to the left. If you want, you can also use your low tech tape and put those letters on a straight line, then put that low tech tape and adhere it to the card. And that will be perfectly straight, but the choice is yours. Here I decided just to use liquid glue and in the end it was pretty good. And what I really like about this sentiment here with the name of the recipient, it's actually dimensional and it goes on top of some of the flowers and that's exactly what I wanted. At the very bottom I use solid gold, crafters companion card and I die cut on your birthday. What do you think about this color combo with gold? please let me know in the comments down below and the card will be nearly complete. But as I told you, we are going to decorate the card on the back as well, because if you want to add a message inside, it's always a good idea to embellish it at least a little bit. And that would really makes a difference. Even if you go to the card shop, you can see beautiful cards, but not all of them are decorated inside. So that's what we can do with our beautiful projects. It's always a good idea to add some gems and that sparkle really adds so much to the finished project. And the card stands proudly on the flat surface. Now it is time to add those florals at the back and I think that really makes a difference. So if you agree, 
please let me know in the comments down below. I also wonder how many spring cards have you created for the last couple of weeks? Please let me know in the comments down below. There is plenty of space to write your message inside and the project is complete. So please let me know what do you think about this. Thank you so much for watching and spending that time with me. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Here you can see my art deco cuts with no cutting dice. Have a wonderful day and see you in my next video. Bye for now!